With so many schools and districts and teachers and students navigating Google Slides as a primary workspace or as a presentation tool or even as a backdrop to a screen recording, I wanted to share um, a little strategy that I've been experimenting with where we can take visuals inside of a set of Google Slides and then create really focused kind of spotlight or even like a magnification kind of feature for smaller elements in a bigger image. So that's what we're gonna get into in this walkthrough today is how to create these kind of call out or magnified images or magnified sections on an image or on a passage of a reading inside of Google Slides. So let me show you what the end product looks like and then we'll demonstrate how to create it. So I'll jump into present mode for a second so you can see what I mean. Now imagine that I'm a history teacher and we're exploring like Renaissance art and I want to make an instructional video kind of talking about this painting here, The Last Supper. Or if I'm doing some kind of live presenting over Meet or Zoom and I want to kind of like really focus on some ideas with my students. So here we have the first slide in my deck here and that's The Last Supper and I'll explain how I did that kind of like uh, that shading with that call out in the middle. But now as we advance the slide, notice we have that center piece of the painting magnified, made big and pu pushed off to the side over there. So now we can jump back and forth. We're gonna talk about the center of this painting. Let's get a closer look and that's what it looks like. So let me show you how this process is done and I'll do the whole thing from scratch. It's really using three layers in one slide. The first layer that we're going to get here is the painting itself. So the Last Supper. So let me grab the Last Supper and I'm just using the Explore tool to grab this image. So I'll get the, the visual that I need of the Last Supper. And then once it drops in, I'm just going to get rid of the link so I don't click on the link by accident and then just stretch this out to fill up the space. Now what I'm going to actually do is duplicate that. And you can see now I have two copies of the same painting, but that duplicate, I'm just gonna lay it directly on top of the original. So we have the original in the background. We have that duplicate copy on top of it. Now what I need to add is a shape and I'll do this rectangle shape. And I'm gonna drop this rectangle over the entire slide to cover it up. Now that looks awful. So let's get rid of the border, make the border transparent. Let's make the image itself or the shape itself white. But here's the, the crucial step. Go back to your bucket fill. Go all the way down to the bottom to this little plus sign right here to create like a custom fill color. And then grab the transparency slider and pull it back to about like maybe 20% of the way in. And you can tweak this to whatever degree you want. That's what it looks like. Now we're almost done. I'm going to take this layer, right click, order, send backward. So what we essentially have now is Last Supper, semi-transparent layer, Last Supper. But now we just need to focus this top layer on one specific part of the painting. Let's do that next. Go to use, tap on the top layer image and go to your cropping tool, but don't use the square crop. Use the down arrow next to the square crop that actually allows you to mask this image, which means basically trim out anything you want and create a focal point. I'm gonna mask with a shape of a circle. That's what I'd like to use right now. And this is what it looks like. But I need it more focused than that. So to customize the, the size of the mask, just double tap and then you get the thick black lines, which is how you'd customize any um, cropping that you would do anyway. So let's again, let's create the focal point over here on this kind of left-hand side of the painting. Let me just bring this over a little bit more. I'll bring the top down a little bit. There we go. And now I have my focal point just on that part of the painting. I click off and now you can see how the layering takes an effect. We have the background image that's coming through. We have the transparency over it, but then we have the focal point of that top layer that's been masked to the circle, circle that perfectly aligns with that master or like that default image behind it on the back layer. Now, what can we do here? I can bring some attention to it. I'll thicken the border weight to like a four point font, maybe use this orange color that I had before to like really have that thing call out. Now, how do we make it even bigger? I'll do that in a second. If I wanted to have another focal point, what I would do here is just duplicate that slide, double tap on my mask, and maybe for this one, I'm just going to pull the black lines over and focus on this part of the painting. So you don't you only do the process once. Again, I'm gonna duplicate the slide, double tap on my mask, and now I'm gonna bring it over here, 
to this group over on the right of the painting. And now I have those little kind of focal points, but to make them bigger, one more step. This slide number three, I'm gonna duplicate it. Instead of double tapping to change the mask, I'm gonna tap once and resize that. That's how we create that kind of like magnification feature. I'll go down to my slide where we have the characters to the left of center. I'm gonna duplicate that slide, tap once, grab the blue dot and resize it to scale so it gets a little bit bigger. Do the same thing one more time. The characters on the right, tap once, resize with the blue dots, and then I can even move that around if I like. So now let's take a look and see what it looks like. I go into present mode. I'm teaching in Zoom, I'm teaching on Google Meet, I'm using Screencastify or any tool that I want to make a screen recording, and I'm going through this little mini lesson on this painting. I advance, we get the call out. Next slide, we get the little kind of, that little call out, we tap one more time, magnification. Again, one more time, tap again, it gets bigger. So you can see this is like a really nice effect that we can create in Google Slides. Now it's also possible we can do that on text as well. So here we have Harlem by Langston Hughes. I'm gonna duplicate Harlem. I'm just gonna center, center this. I'll center my second layer because I want them right on top of one another. Again, I'll do the same strategy. I'm gonna go into my shape tool and I'm gonna drop that white box over the top of it, make the border transparent, make the fill color white, customize the fill color to about 20%, hit okay. There we go. Now, how do I make my pop-outs again? Take that transparent layer, right click, order, send it back. So my transparent layer is again in between, then I double tap on the poem, and I like to do this little rounded edge shape and I might say, we're really gonna focus in on line number one, right? There's my focal point on line number one. I can even grab these little corners to make it rounder. And I want to add some weight so it really pops out. I'll add a red border. That's what it looks like. Now let's duplicate. Maybe I want to focus on, oh, hold on one second. I think I moved it. Let's duplicate that slide, double tap. Let's focus on down here a little bit. And there we go. So now if I want to make them bigger, no problem. Remember, tap once, make the line much bigger and maybe center that line so it looks really nice. Go down here, double, oh, single tap, make that excerpt much bigger so it kind of pops out. And now when we're dealing with text, right, that line pops, we click forward, that line pops. And what you could always do is layer the kind of that static regular size poem in between. So it would go big, back to small, back to big. So that's it. That's the whole process of using Google Slides to create these magnified kind of call out or pop out features and Im images or text. So good luck and I hope this helps you improve your presentation, your live Zoom or Google Meet calls or your instructional video.